We got the life skill guide coming at you today. I'm gonna go through it, kind of everything about them, how you unlock them, how do you progress them. We're gonna talk about which ones are important for which types of things, what are the benefits of doing them, basically everything you need to know. And before we dive in, I just wanna say thank you very much to the Patreon people who help support me doing this, and let's go. All right, so if we press L in the game, it's gonna bring up our life skill menu, and we can just do a quick little look at what the life skills are that are available, right? We've got herbalism lumbering mining hunting fishing and archaeology uh, i'm gonna take us into the estate and the workshop to kind of show what's the purpose of each of the life skills before we go do that i'd also like to point out that the way you unlock the life skills is just do the main story. They're going to automatically open up for you doing the main story. So you don't have to stress out really like, how do I get them? How do I unlock them? What you do need to be aware of is once you unlock them through the main story, you're going to get one of these little guide quests popping up down here. If you choose to do that guide quest, you will get a like, I haven't done a lot, right? This is mostly the experience that I got from doing the guide quest and you get a big chunk of experience from doing it. And then you also get these upgraded blue tier tools for each of the professions. Just to be safe, cause someone will ask, the actual act of life skilling is very simple, right? Like you just interact with the trees or whatever and harvest them. Uh, again, the guide quest and the initial main story quests are going to handhold the exact process of how each of the gathering ones work. All right, we are in our estate now. The first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the laboratory and I want you to see, and you'll notice here, right? The iron ore and the wood. You see like all of your upgrading the estate stuff, you're gonna need those life skills, right? So right there, you're mining and you're lumbering, hugely important if you wanna be able to progress your estate at all. Next up, we are in the estate still. You'll see we're at the workshop. We're gonna click and go in here. I'm just gonna show you a few things. I guess we'll start down at the bottom since that's where I was. And you can see here, this comes from fishing and herbalism if you wanna make the signal flares for the guardian raids. Uh, you want to do this robe of disguise, you need skin from hunting, and then again, you need herbalism. We'll come through here, you can see you need mining plus herbalism to make the grenades, to make the bombs, again, herbalism plus mining. Uh, if you want to make potions, that's just straight herbalism. And then if we pop over to the chest and we look at the upgrade, boom, there's archaeology. So I've just shown you how every single one of the life skills has a very like important use in the game if you care about maximizing everything. Before we peace out and leave our estate here, uh, I wanted to remind you again, similar to in the housing guide, that you can do life skills inside of your estate after you unlock the ability through upgrading it, of course. And if we come over here to the chests and look at these battle item chests, these battle item chests are made with resources that come from doing your stuff inside of the estate. And you can see they look a little bit different than the ones that you would get outside in the regular world. There's another feature I'd like to show you real quick. It's gonna be in every major city. So I'm just gonna show you going to North Burn, going into the Burn Castle, and uh, it's called a Platinum Field. And you can see what it looks like here, right? It's pretty obvious that this is gonna be, you know, for going in there, minus, mining and harvesting stuff when you look at it on the map. Here's what it looks like when we're standing in front of it and just click on it. And you can see at the top, it tells you here that none of your like points that you would use, like your energy resource points that are used while you're out gathering stuff, you don't consume them while you're inside of here, but you also don't gain experience towards increasing it, right? So this is purely like a resource gathering mechanism here, uh, but it's great because there's no monsters or anything. You just go in there and gather, 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 gather. It is very important to know though that these are not an unlimited thing you can do as much as you want. As you can see right down here, they require a crafting license. Uh, you essentially get the crafting license through doing the life skills. You have a chance to acquire them. Kind of like when you're doing Chaos Dungeons, you have like this small chance to get a ticket to be able to go into the cube challenges. Thank you very much to the Patreon people who support me doing this and make it possible. If you're looking for anything else, there is a whole playlist of guides on the channel. If you enjoyed this one, maybe hit me with that like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.